Hi there, I am Nick, and I'll be showing you how to use the dynamic lighting for custom maps tool. First of all, it is primarily aimed at cartographers, and by that I mean it's just going to be a little bit easier for them to use it, as it requires a slight map variation. And if you have the original map files, it's just a little bit easier to do. On release, the tool supports regular walls for Roll20, Foundry, and Fantasy Grounds, but it's in active development, so additional virtual tabletops and features will likely be added in time. Let me begin with an example, and I'll walk you through the options you have available. I'll be using a map provided by Midgardia RPG, there's a link to them in the description below. The map is fairly complex, with dungeons and caves, and is 11 by 14,000 pixels wide. You'll notice the map I'm selecting is only a layout with flat colors, and that is related to the preparation needed to run the tool. However, the files you download can of course be used with the original map. All you need to do is paint either the floor or the walls a solid color. That should only take a few seconds if you have a layered map, and that's it. Uh, in this case, the floor has been painted white, which is what the default settings have selected, so we'll only change the tile size to fit and click on Generate. A map of this size should take about a minute, with smaller ones taking uh, only a few seconds. There are additional options to customize what the walls will look like. Uh, the algorithm will try to calculate where the walls should go according to the tile size, but if you want to move them closer or further from the map, you can use the wall width advanced option. The dynamic lighting mode will determine how similar to the map's shape the walls will be. The precise mode will have a higher density of nodes, the points that connect the walls, uh, resulting in a near perfect rendition, even for the most complex shapes. Performance will attempt to eliminate as many nodes as possible, while still covering the basic shape of the map. Balanced is the default option, and I strongly recommend to keep using it. Uh, as its name suggests, it's a pretty good balance between the amount of nodes created and the shape of the map. The file is ready, but uh, you can find additional instructions directly on the site if you'd like to read more about these options. Let's hop over to Foundry and see how it works. We'll create a scene and import the JSON we downloaded. You'll find that in most cases everything works just fine, but I picked this particular map because I knew that the balance mode had just a bit of trouble in one area. You'll likely need to check to make sure everything's in order and seldom add an extra node but you can cut down the time needed to trace the walls in any number of maps from potentially a few hours to just a couple of minutes, and it works for three different platforms. Finally, a commercial license is available for the tool, so if you sell maps or adventures that need them, you can check out the terms at patreon.com slash dungeon channel. That is all. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can always find me on Discord. Thank you.